Good evening and welcome to Highland Basketball. I am Kevin Scott. Joined alongside me is my partner in crime, Jeff Argenziano. How are you doing tonight, Jeff? How are you doing, Kevin? I'm doing very well. Uh, tonight, the Somerville Highlanders are hosting the Medford Mustangs. Um, and what do you got to say about the game, Jeff? Kevin, the Medford Mustangs are coming in with a two-game winning streak against both opponents in the GBL. And they have an 8-6 and six record, and Somerville is coming in with an 8-5 and five record. I need to make a correction in the last game. I had stated that they had one extra loss. Somerville is not counting the endowment game, which was a game at the Garden. Waltham, that money goes towards the MIA's endowment program. And it's also a game that you can't count, but you count if you're in the game. It's an exclusion if you count that. But Somerville is not counting it. Somerville already coming in 0-1 against the Mustangs. That was a game at Tufts. University, and the number one name you will see is Texera, Kevin, the top scorer, Anthony, he's the one who you're gonna have to put either Jackson on or Jared Antonelli on, and there was no stopping him until he injured himself right. in his hamstring. We'll see if there's any rust from that, but there's not because against Revere, he had 29, and Orcott had 29. Sam Orcott, number four, those are your two best players, so that's where Bedford stands. Um, how's our lineup looking for tonight, Jeff? Somerville, you're looking with your same five. You're gonna come out here with light length, try to press you, trap you early on to get some turnovers, and hopefully, as usual, get some offensive charges by Jared and Tinelli to get one of those two out of the game. And that's what Somerville wants. Okay. I, um... And it's gonna be much more difficult, Kevin, because you have three refs tonight. Starting in the tournament, you use three refs. So in February, they usually add the three refs here so they can get used to doing their areas and the refing the same level instead of going two, three. You say three, they're not gonna catch everything. Well, a Medford player dumped the ball with the three of them standing right here and not one of them noticed it. And hey, it, even um, in, in the on a professional level, uh, Jason Tatum against the Lakers the other day, uh, smacked the heck out of uh, LeBron James and didn't call the foul yeah. on LeBron James and yeah. Le 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 LeBron James made a hissy fit. And Eric yes. Lewis, former yeah. USBL ref and CBA ref that I know very well, did not make the call, Kevin. Wait, why don't you call, did you call him up? Did you send him a text? I sent him an email. Hello and welcome to Somerville High School basketball where tonight the Highlanders play host to the Mustangs of Method High School. Now for your starting lineups first for visiting Medford High School. The senior wearing number zero, Joey Liu. Uh, the senior wearing number four, Sam Orcutt. And the senior wearing number 22, Anthony Texera. Uh, the junior wearing number one, Matthew Randazzo. And the sophomore wearing number 10, Justin Marino. Head coach for Medford High School is John Scary. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineup for your Somerville Highlanders. Uh, the junior wearing number one, Eddie Hudson Jones. Uh, the senior wearing number four, Franco DeFusco. The junior wearing number 10, Makai Curtis. And the senior wearing number 12, Jared Antonelli. And the junior wearing number 33, Ian Bourne. Head coach for Somerville High School is Mark Antonelli. Ladies and gentlemen, will you all please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, we're having technical difficulties with the national anthem. So we're going to bypass the anthem for this evening. Direction.
Marie was born on January 16, 1967. She grew up in Tunnel and graduated from Tunnel High School in 1985. Marie was a very proud member of the Ice Hockey Cheerleading Squad while she attended Tunnel High School. Marie had a very warm personality and was loved by all. A big part of Marie's life revolved around her family, her community, and athletics. Marie is survived by her husband Matthew and her two sons, Justin and Alex. Please join me in bowing our heads for a moment of silence to honor Marie Carbone, who is and will always be part of our Highland family. Thank you. All right. So let's get the starting lineup, Jeff. So your lineup. Same one that you saw against Somerville at Tufts, Lou, Randazzo, Orcutt, Marino, and Texera, Kugler. Somerville, you're going with Franco, Jared, Ian, Mackay, and Eddie. And Jackson is coming off the bench as your first six man tonight. With Franco back in the starting lineup. So Somerville 5 8, your refs, you're going with three. Gavin Flanagan, Hal Geary, and Dan Harrington. Your referee is Gavin Flanagan. And the ball is up, and Medford wins the tap. Lou, a very methodical point guard, keeps control. Oh, um, Antonelli got his ankles broken on the fake. Ball's tipped out, rebounded by Medford. Offensive board by Rendazzo. From way downtown, it's going to be an air ball. Nope, it's off. Antonelli with the rebound. Eddie looking to push it. Brings it down to the corner. Makai brings it back. Antonelli to Franco. Franco over to Eddie. Nice pick by Ian. Oh, you got Eddie. Ball's tipped. Ian brings it in. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Makai with the baseline jumper, can't finish. Rebounded over the back. No call, but good rebound by Medford. Medford looking to push. First rebound for Marino. And Tessera wants the ball in the low block. Oh, he's, oh, Ian. Oh, Ian just got knocked to the ground. And uh -oh. Tessera is lucky, Kevin, because he shot an air ball that was not touched by the Somerville defender. So he's lucky he didn't catch that ball. Or it would have been a violation. Scary taking off the jacket already, Kevin. Scary in his eighth season, coaching Medford, replaced David White. That's how long ago that was. Ian dumps it down to Franco. It gets tipped out of bounds. Still high on his ball. Medford reading Salem very well. Medford's uniform is a little different, a very small, capitalized Medford across your chest. Inbound is Eddie. A minute and a half gone in this game and no one scored yet, Jeff. Would you rather see Highlanders across the chest or someone? When you're home, whoop. When you're, oh, hold on. Oh, little scoop, can't finish, big rebound by Franco. Franco looking to push it. It's in the NBA now, Kevin. It's very hard because you never know what you go for. Right. The team is gonna wear. Uh, Franco gets it tipped, stolen away. Oh, nice move, but nice D by Eddie to cut off the baseline. And Orcutt just signed with uh, one of the one of the military branches. Oh, good D by Antonelli. Big board by Jared. Two rebounds for Jared. Ian. Oh, he wasn't expecting that. That was a good, but Ian was wide open. He, oh. If he was looking, he could have had a wide open lane. Football team's gonna be looking for that reception pretty soon. Franco, little floater, can't finish. He gets his own rebound. Ball's on the ground. Jump. It's gonna be a jump ball possession. Arrow's gonna go Highlander's way. So going back to what you were asking me, Jeff, if you were home, you should have Highlanders on your, or the name of your mascot on your Yeah, that's what I would front. If you're away, then you have the city. So people know where you're from. They don't, people in, in a way, of course, don't care what mascot you have, but they want to know what city you're from, and vice versa. <laughs> Makai over to Franco. Tashera is all over Makai's yep. game. 
Eddie brings it in. Oh, he could have jumped it down to. Jared thought about it, he brings it in. He gets hacked, no call, but he makes it. Finally makes a basket after three minutes gone in the first quarter, Jeff. First lead of the game for Somerville for any team. Oh, oh. scoop. Oh, Franco's. Franco's hurt, Kevin. Yep. Landed sideways on his ankle. He went jumping in, went for the fake. Not for the fake, he went to swat away. And uh, Marino went right underneath and gave a little scoop, dipsy do, as they say. Will they carry him off? Can he walk? Yes, it is. Yep, it looks like his ankle. Yeah, a little loose. Hey, if Michelle Kelly's involved, Kevin, he'll be back in the game in no time. Elizabeth McEwen is here doing the scorebook tonight for Antonelli. Right across from us, Elizabeth McEwen, graduate of 21, goes to UMass. Got to go cross court. All-star with the Lady Highlanders in her own right. Get it over. Oh, kick ball. Uh, Went off his higher knee. To Sarah all the way in. Tough move. That was not called a kickball because it went off above his knee. Well, maybe he got his hand on it too. It sounded like that. Eddie with nice little hesitation. They're trapping you in half court with three guys. Oh, Travel. Ian down to Makai for two. There you go. That's how you break the press. And that's how you tie it up. Oh, that's a carry. Oh, oh got it. Good at the board. Looks like Sarah's missing it. Oh, it's going to be a foul on Jared. Ball is going to be on, I believe it was on the ground, so they're going to take it out of bounds. Baseline out of bounds. No foul is called. 12, actually, they did call a foul. Foul is on Jared. No, the foul was on Jared, yes. Jackson in for the injured Franco. Good, a no-look pass into number one. Moving it around. Oh, oh behind, behind the back. back. I told you, he's very Whoa. methodical, Kevin. Uh, but you missed that. Offensive board by number 10, Marino. The Highlanders need to box out. He has three rebounds, Kevin, and four points. Eddie dribbling into the trap. Reverses it. Jared, Jared, dragged his foot. Eddie double dribbles. Double dribbles, yes. <laughs> Jared, oh. three refs, you're missing everything. Take it, take it easy on the refs, Jeff. It's National Referee Appreciation Week. And that gives my cue, Kevin, to read that. It is, it is National Officials Appreciation Week. And if the National High School Federation in partnership with member states is once again promoting a National Officials Appreciation Week, here are some of the ideas that have worked throughout the country. Let, let's flood social media with some great photos showing our appreciation for our game officials. So they give you these recommendations. Thank you cards signed by the team and the coaching staff. Now you tell me at home, I'm gonna read these next two timeouts. Tell me at home how many teams you actually think are gonna do this. Record a thank you message from student athletes and coaches and post it on your social media account. Maybe. Special appreciation signage in the official's locker room. Mm. We'll have to ask Hal when he comes over if there's a sign for him. Student escorts of the crew onto the field court or pitch. We know that didn't happen. Read a PSA at the start of the game thanking the crew for working the contest. That didn't happen either. Photos of the officiating crew of both teams and coaches prior to the start of the game at the end, depending on if you have the timing or not. So next time out, I'm going to read the rest of these suggestions that they give to you. And they also post their Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all their social media to everybody really? because they want you to push it out to all of them. So maybe, Kevin, we can take a photo with Hal Gary and send it out. To your social media. I'm about to text all my uh my my way downtown. No. Oh. Rebounded by Medford. Ball's out of bounds off of off of Medford. Still Between Highlanders the ball. two of us, we probably know about 200 refs. I'm about to text my two favorite right now. Text them this um a screenshot of this. Makai finds Jackson. Jackson doesn't have anything, but he takes a three from way downtown, nothing. Oh, Jared has to go after that. He stayed flat-footed. Oh. So tough. 
Chris Where's Chris Harvey? Harvey when we need him to sign him up? Take a screenshot of that. <laughs> Jared splits it. Finds Jackson. Jackson Another. for way downtown. Short. Makai with the big board. Finds Ian. Eddie brings it in. Flo floater for two. Nope. Can't. Re rebounded by Medford. Kyle is down by four points. Two Medford looking to push. For Lou. Short, but no boxing out again. He oh, got Oh, again out. Kevin flicks it in. That's two times Justin Marino has gone very low with a scoop shot. That's what's called a Giannis, Kevin. Two minutes to go in the quarter. Highlanders down by six. Eddie with the ball. Use the, got to bring him into the pick, Eddie. The number three, Mangone, is about to come into the game. Next step ball. Eddie crosses over, finds Jared. Jared on the Wing gets packed. Keeps getting pushed. Playing real aggressive, Jeff. They swing it around with 10 seconds under the shot clock. Eddie crosses over, finds Eddie. I mean, Ian. Ian dumps it down to Jared for two. Two, four points for Jared. Four point lead. Oh, or caught. Oh. The lose right there, Kevin. Ooh, nice spin move. Oh, that's oh. a foul. He pushed off, but it's going to be a foul on Jared. So if you think about it, Kevin, you're a man of math. If Jared averages four charges a game, that means he's taken away probably two points. You just say, let's say we takes away two points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or a three-point play, but we'll just do two just for, just to say, now times. What's up, man? See you guys, man. Hey. Two points a game, I mean four times two, which is eight. Eight. Jeez, Jeff. <laughs> so eight times 20, to say he does that for tw tw 20 games, he's done that for two seasons now? Just think of how many points he's, he's uh, kept the other teams from scoring. If he averages four, four offensive charges a game. It's great. So you're looking at, ooh. Eddie gets his, oh, almost got his money taken. 20 take times eight was that, 165? 160. Big. Oh, there you go, Good Ian. Board. Forty-two seconds Ooh, to nice go. Little in and out. Again, Kevin Tessera. Where are you right now, Chris Harvey? He might be better than that, Kevin. He's gonna have to go to uh the center to Merrimack. He's a senior. Makai goes baseline, little floater for two. Nobody doing that better right now, I, Kevin. I love, I love that part of his game. He loves going north to south. One shot. Scary wants one shot. He just said, wait. Go oh, kick ball. Love, love it, Allen. Allen. They're gonna say it's an inadvertent. Ian Bourne. Uh, So that's the end of the first quarter. Well, Island is 10, one of those a game. Medford 14. So I'm texting my, my uh, friend who's a ref. He's probably refing right now. Oh, he'll likely. still get it. It's oh, still appreciate, you know. He, he should appreciate it. I think today is National Optimist Day, Kevin, which is something somebody says I'm never, I am never am an optimist. So Marino must have made both free throws if, he's, if they have 14. We were talking I about. Saw, I saw a shirt today that had Optimus Prime on it, and it just said Optimus. That's why. Two it's, thumbs yeah, up. It's National oh. Optimus Day. It's actually kind of cool. So, the other thing they say to do: give your refs a gift card, box of cookies, donuts, or other items. Present that to the crew by both the home and visiting teams. Really? So, would you give that gift card before or after the game? Well, we'll see. Uh -huh. But this is the one thing it says. Around town, put up week, weekly banners and signage on the fences, walls, etc., surrounding the contest playing area and around your city and town. So you could put some banners up over there. I can see that. <laughs> they would take that. They would take that sarcastically if you put up a banner over there. Thanks, ref. <laughs> that would be like sarcastic. Oh, 
One sub, Kevin, is in. Good That's deep. Mangone. That oh, should have been a foul. Crossover. <laughs> foul will be on Eddie. That's his first. Robert Team's Allen third. Got, got away with a foul there, Jeff. Robert Allen's a fan favorite. They're calling on Eddie, not on Robert. Franco's still on the bench, Kevin, next to Matty O'Donnell. Hey, Coach Anna, trying to do the Jedi mind trick. He's trying to sit, t yell at his team, he's like, go to the basket too so we can get some calls. Oh, oh, oh my word. How does that happen, Jeff? Did Marino do that? Well, number 10, right? Yeah. That was Everybody. all in one motion, Kevin. Finds Eddie, Eddie slows it up. Kind of, kind of had numbers there, but he slowed it up. Run the offense now. Oh, oh that hurts. That hurt. To hear that. Oh, that's right off his finger. Off the edge, pop, we hear the pop right here. You probably heard it at home. Eddie, Eddie brings it in. Oh, there you go, straight to the basket. He gets hat. He follows on Lou, his first, team's first, Kevin. Coming into the game is number one. Back is Randazzo. Going to the line is Eddie, first free throws of the game for Somerville. Now Kyle is gonna come in next to the ball. Who's he coming in for? I say you one. <laughs> Oh, Robert Allen. Oh, Robert Allen collides. It's, wow. That was unintentional. It's good to see that Franco. No, no, wait, sorry. That's not Franco. No, that's that's Kyle. Uh, Kyle. So Franco's still hurt. He's still, he's trying Flipping. to walk it off, Kevin. Tie, got to tie up your sneaker. Hey, my toe's hurting me, too. First oh. rebound for Teixeira. Well, oh, wait, I was going to say the ball's got and the same thing, Kevin, last game at Tufts, when Medford was the home team, Somerville shut down or cut the entire first half, then he heated up in the second half with a bunch of bank shots. But so they've shut him down. The Highlanders are getting beat on the boards. I mean, they're not boxing out, and that's the, the MO of, of um, almost every game this season. No boxing out. Oh, Eddie throws it away. Turnover on Eddie. Makai could not handle it. Great communication from someone, Kevin. You hear them talking yep. the whole time. Yeah. Good D by Eddie. Ouch. Kyle. Yeah, that popped off his finger. Or cut. Face wow. up jump shot. It's going to be a little bit long. But Another board, Kevin, for Teixeira. It was a long rebound. That's only two for him, though. We look at a move, Kevin. He's using the picks. Wow. Gets fouled, no call. Orcutt gets fouled, no call. They stay, he's out of bounds. But we'll credit Orcutt with the rebound. That's four. Sub, now 11. Coming into the game Polanco. is number. Yep. Polanco? Polanco? Uh, Pol Polcaro. 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 He's in for Teixeira. Teixeira's out. Teixeira Kugler. They're looking to clear it out. Ian with the, he's bringing up the ball. Makai with the ball on the wing, waiting for Ian. Ian comes off, ah. collides into the Should have moved the screen on a foul on. No, he can't telegraph the pass, Jackson. All the way in for two, Kevin. Reverse. Oh, there you go. Oh, he got back. Go, Ian. Go, Ian. There you go. Got to help him out. That was a dangerous cross-court pass. Franco coming next step ball. Makai brings it in, kicks it out to Kyle from way downtown. Air ball. More cut. More cut now with more rebounds and points. Bounce pass uh, in the paint. Tough play. Number 11, Polcaro. Number 11, yep. 520 to go in the first half. Zippa. Eddie brings it down, back up top to Jackson. Jackson swings it to Eddie on the wing. Eddie picks up his dribble too soon, finds Makai. Makai 
looking for something that crosses over. Ooh, nice Whoa. cross back with a foul line jumper. Oh, back rims it. Another rebound for a cut. That's six. Another oh. rebound. Jump travel. ball, jump ball. There you go. Orca traveled with the offensive board. Seven boards. Franco back in. Okay, so now who handles the ball? Franco or Makai with Eddie out of the game? Maybe Ian Bourne. He's still limping a little. Uh, he can't. Go, go to the ball. And good Antin timeout by Coach Antonelli. <clears throat> so a little more on referee appreciation officials week. If your school is able to celebrate the week, push it out on social media. Please try to post on any of these social media tags and tag the MIA and the National Federation of High Schools on the following platforms. They have their Instagrams for Twitter and Facebook. As far as helping out with the shortage of officials that we are all facing, recognizing and appreciating officials may seem like a little thing, but it goes a long way. That's the final line from the MIA. I say get rid of sports gambling, you'll have a bunch of officials, but that's just me. So, now mark your calendars, okay? This is for you, old Donald. Spring Sports Officials of Appreciation Week, April 10th through the 14th. So all those umpires out there, all those track officials that shoot off the gun. Mm -hmm. you gotta find them. Gotta find them, gotta bring them a box of cookies. Say thank you when you see them in the streets. I'll give Hal a ball of moxie. After I leave here, I'm gonna call my boy Dave McLaren up. Let yeah. just get into the ball. Well, they're playing, playing, playing like a, it's a hand grenade. Deep. Wow. Poor cut. Simi. First points of the game, Kevin. Face up three pointer with Teixeira out of the game. And Scary says it's about time. He's bringing Teixeira back in. And Telly not wasting time. He brings in Jared and Eddie. Out is number one, Rendazzo, who's not playing much. It's been unforced errors. Come on, find your man, guys. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Chicago, let's see what this is all about. Green, left, right. Here it comes or cut through for baseline. Face up. Up nice. face by Lou. Or cut again. Down. Nope. Air blow. But again, another rebound. Makai got it. Get behind. Puts the brakes on. Him. Oh, Makai had Eddie down low. Franco with the ball on the wing. Finds Ian. Ian goes to the basket, throws it off of Eddie's foot, picked up by Bedford. Quick oh, outlet to Texera, which is, he saves it. Good D by Franco to cut off the baseline. Skip pass over. Travel! No travel! For three, count it. Nine points for Texera. 25-10, Diskin coming in. in Coach uh, Scary wants to stop Antonelli off the glass. Oh, nice play. And with Diskin in the game, Kevin, next dead ball. That won't happen. Nice play by Ian. First two points of the quarter for Somerville. Ouch. Oh, again, these guys are killing He's their hands. the ball around. Oh, that was halfway down. Big boy by Franco. Quick outlet to Makai. Makai looking to push it. Has no numbers, but crosses over. Kicks it out to Eddie. And Eddie must have listened to us, Kevin. He's not wearing the Patriots shorts underneath his shorts. Makai, nice little hesitation. Dumps it down to Ian. Ian gets hat. Foul to Sheriff. Frustration pounds the ball into the game after this free throw will be Diskin. Free throws for Ian Bourne. 
Teixeira standing on the wrong side. Well, You're talking to Coach Gary. Daryl's talking to uh, Eddie Kevin. You know, that's going to be good news. I saw, I saw Daryl last night at the Celtics game. We didn't get a chance to talk. We just waved at each other and kept it moving. Good. I, I was trying to rush to get back. I don't know where they were going. Get back to your seat or get back to the game? To the seat. Okay. Knocks them both down. Yeah, boy, cuts it to 11. 25-14. There's a shooter. Get out. Good D by the Highlanders so far. Two minutes to go in the half. Wow. Woo. But no, no one's boxing out again. That fits a board for Louis. Three, Three seconds. seconds. Three seconds on Texera. Eight seconds. Twelve seconds. No shots attempted. We got seconds. three refs and we can't get a three-second call <laughs> oh to Sarah, and there are no shots taken in that sequence. To Sarah tips it away. Oh, he's down again, Kevin. Oh, little Euro step. <laughs> Big board by Ian. Quick outlet to Franco. Cross-court pass to Jared. Oh! So foul on Diskin, please. <laughs> I know he's like freaking checking. Oh. That wasn't even a basketball play. <laughs> Two hand shove. Oh, so Jared goes to the line. Summer will two for four. Harrington getting talked to by Scary. Well, I mean, he's probably he's probably telling telling uh, Coach Scary that that wasn't a basketball well, play I'm to sure just talk is, to him yeah. on, on the next dead ball or next time he comes out. Four for six. Cuts it to nine, Kevin. Need a stop here, Jeff. Oh, there. offensive foul, there you Jared go. again, Kevin. One, at least one a game. Foul should be on Samuel. The same he's averaging four. So right there, Kevin, you gave, you held up two points. Yep. So I say, so he's averaged it's about over 100 points. He's saving the team on a yearly basis or season basis. You got Jared. There you go. That, That's Kevin. how you put. Oh, make the layup. Rebound but that was a perfectly executed pick and roll there, Jeff. I'm glad Eddie saw him right Orcutt down the lane. Eight rebounds, Kevin. And, and the thing is that that play is going to be there a couple more times in this game. It so is. good hedge by Franco. Oh. Three seconds Texera. again. Three again. And Tessera says They're you just can't stop me. The zebras aren't even caught. They've got three zebras out here. Tessera looks at the crowd and says, fine, you want to call three seconds? I'll hit a three in your face. Eddie crosses over. Oh, there you go, Eddie. Doesn't have it. Kicks, kicks it out to Franco. Over to Makai from way downtown. Short. This kid gets packed. This game was being held by Ian Bourne. 10 seconds, Kevin. Ooh, up by 12. Medford's up by 12. Blue. Diskin over the back. <laughs> it's going to be a foul, yep. That's two fouls on Diskin. Over the back, grabs Antonelli. We're not shooting, though, because it's .7 left, and they're not over the limit. Ian Bourne travels. Nice catch. <laughs> Coach Antonelli is on the floor like a football. Anyways, at the half. Well, at the half. Highlanders 16, Medford 28. And we're back, Jeff. Let's get the first half stats, please. Kevin, okay, only three players for Summerall. Four points for Mackay, six for Ian, six for Jared. Four for six from the line in Summerall. Now, for these guys, eight rebounds for Orcutt. Two for Polcaro, speed. Three for Orcutt, one for Joey Lou. And balanced with Marino with 10 and Teixeira with 12. Three for four from the line is Medford. 
28 to 16 is your game score. And back to live action. Franco out of the game. Seven. In the painted area, Kevin. Marino now is 12. Does he live in Somerville? Uh, he's, he's, reti the he's retired now, so who knows where he lives. Yeah. He's sending the YouTube link. Rebound by Tavita. Sure. Look at a push here. Yeah. Tell him at 154, watch out. Block by Big Ian block Bourne. By Ian Bourne. Watch all the three second calls that weren't made. Full coaching staff now in effect for Somerville. Ian Colmack at the end of the bench, Kevin. Tough JV game earlier. Another reverse. Oh, nice. Ian Bourne with the rebound. Hey, Ian Bourne, four rebounds. Hey, Danny Schmidt had a great uh, JV game today. See these guys have their sunglasses on their forehead like that? It's been dark since 445. I know. Wow, stolen by Texera. Metro looking to push it now. Makai slows him up. Coach Antonello was, I thought he was yelling at the players, but he was like, No, he's yelling he's at the referee. referee. There's your makeup call right there, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to have a world without makeup calls? <laughs> what did he call? Coach Antonelli's having a great conversation yeah, with the receivers today. Oh, oh you're born, Kevin. Beautiful, beautiful play. I'll tell you, he's getting better and better by the minute. So it was a nice pass by Makai. No stop oh. on Marino, though, Kevin. Face up. Oh, no one walks it out again. Well, nobody's Everyone's just Marino. going after the ball. They're not looking at it. Six rebounds for Marino. One cut face up, count it. Box out. Travel. Oh, no, that's too Sammy. easy. Five points, four cuts. Coach Antonelli is looking for some help on defense. Not getting any from, from Eddie on that particular. Or cut. Will he slam it, Kevin? No. Ian Bourne uh, hits the deck. No, it's a good call. Ian pushed him in the back I before know. he went up, the, up top. But he tried to block his shot. Sam going to line for two. So, for all you at home, that means you, Johansson, former ref. Why don't you put a sign up on your front door for Appreciation Week? Just a big sign. Thank you, ref. How about that there, Johansson? How is he doing? He watches every game, I'll tell you that. He loves you. Does he now? But next time out, at the end of the third, I will, he has a question, and I will tell him why it occurred. Nice pick by Jared. Eddie hesitates, kicks it out to Ian, over to Makai, who goes down. Travel. Jared with the ball in the paint. Three seconds. Gets hacked, no call. Rebounded by Medford. Ian almost got called for a foul there, Jeff. Nine rebounds, four cuts. See, Kevin, just like last game, he takes over in the second yeah. half. He had 29 against Revere. Takes time to warm up. Eight points now. Oh, oh, Eddie could have went. There oh, you go. Oh, great spin. Nice move. Can't finish, though. Off Ian Bourne out of bounds. He, he, didn't, he didn't get the goals, he didn't jump up straight, straight up and down. And that's why the ball was overshot. He was still leaning forward a little. It's a 17 point lead. Oh, nice head fake. Oh, nice block by Makai.
box out. If you don't box out, you're not going to get the rebound. And nice board by Ian. Seven rebounds for Marino. Baseline jumper. There you go. Got a timeout by Coach Antonelli with four minutes to go in the third quarter. Highland is down by 15. So against um, Lynn English two days ago on the 31st of January, Somerville lost by 64 points wow. at Lynn English. And the question from Mr. Johansson was, you know, what did you think of the issue, like the coach running up the score at the end? He didn't ask me that directly, but I heard that through a third party that that was his question. The issue is, currently the rankings, the power rankings by the MIA, they use the Max Preps power rankings, and it's average margin, average margin of victory, capped at 10 plus points for any game, but still your average of margin of victory. The opponent's rating, average of team opponents' overall ratings, that equals your total rating. So for a stretch of time, even though they're undefeated, Lynn English now is in number 10. But mm. for a stretch of time, they were in the 20s and 18s because their opponent's rating was so low. Okay. So all of their margins are so big this year, but their opponent's rating is so low, so they need to get that margin up of victory. Yes, you don't need to score win by 64, but that's why the margins of victories are so skewed even though they're saying it's capped at 10 points. But when you look at them and you look at the rankings, it still gets bungled up because you only beat them by a certain amount. So that's right. what's happening. The sheriff's hurt that's again, it. Kevin. He's always on the ground, huh? So that's the reason why there. So I have, so I have a question, but hold well, on. We'll wait till the next yep. day. Oh, Terry Sarah's gonna pay it back. Don't Kevin. follow him, just stop him. Oh, nice he block. Born. Oh my God. Who did come follow him? Ian born with the block. They didn't call it on Ian, did they? No, but he got the original block. Okay, it was a foul should be on ten. Because Sherry doesn't okay. want it. I was gonna say Ian had a clean block up top. Or a cut going to the line, Kevin, because he got the offensive board. So Flanagan right in uh, Teixeira's face, Kevin. Told him the last time you're gonna say something like a technical foul on Teixeira. You act, you, you, you act him onto it. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now everybody has to leave the lane. Orcutt's gonna shoot the second foul. And then, then who's gonna shoot the foul for the Highlanders? You blow a couple of calls and now, now you <laughs> So Orcutt misses both. Who's gonna shoot for Somerville, Kevin? Scary. Did he get? No, he didn't get booted. Did but he get scary, tossed? No, no, scary asked him to walk down to the locker room. Just to cool off. Makai going to the line for the two technicals. So it's a tech personal foul on Teixeira. But I mean, I mean, he had to say something to the ref right off the bat. I know, but he, he said because he got knocked down. Went, it was a clean block by, by, right, by Ian. Ian Bourne. But because he hit the deck two consecutive plays, he was frustrated. You couldn't have taken him to the side and talked to him. You'd have to yell in his face. I mean, everybody heard him say it. That's speed, Kevin. Just bring it back out and it's set. Now Orcutt's taking over, Kevin. But Ian Bourne's going to say, I'll shut you down. Foul on <laughs> Franco, well, please. Yep. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a member's going to get any calls now, Jeff. But we got to credit Franco for block, Kevin. Because he did he did deter the shot. Well, let's see if, if the Highlanders could um, cut this deficit while Texera is in the locker room. He didn't get he didn't get ejected. So he told, but, oh, oh, oh excellent deck. Jackson brings it in, gets it stripped. Will Orcutt send it in? Short. No, Jackson with the big board. The difference tonight, Kevin, is you have zero points from Jackson and Franco. 
Zero. What is up with the chairs today? I don't know. Today? Something happens here. Do the, the wheel break? I don't know. We'll see when Tessera comes back. So you have zero points from Jackson, zero points from Franco. I wonder if Tessera did like the Paul Pierce. Oh, Jason Tatum pulled one of those the other day. That's when he comes out Franco to Jared. Jared skip pass over to Franco. Ian with a little baby hook oh, off the glass. Oh, Ian Bourne! Ten points for Ian Bourne with a sweeping left-handed hook. Highlanders need to stop here. Another oh. scoop shot, Kevin. Go, go, move it, move it! Jared with the board. Antonelli oh, with Franco only goes baseline. two timeouts Kicks left. Kicks it out to Makai for three. Oh, Ian big board by Ian. He's fouled. Oh, uh, <laughs> strong, baby. Tell you, Kevin, right now, no matter what, player of the game, Ian Bourne. Ian Bourne. Two for two from the line. He has 10 points. Got to see if the girls won their game at Medford. And some of those worst loss last year, Kevin, was Medford here. It's pretty bad. Wicked bad. Ian knocks down the first. But Ian Bourne says you can't blame me for that one. But Jared with the big is board. Packed. Oh, he stepped out of bounds though. Almost rips his uniform and shreds, Kevin. That's in the wiffle ball games that Intelli's have, Kevin. With Jared and Mark and Chris. We, we, we played more stickball back in the day. Really? Yeah. Come on. Stickball and Yorker. With a little pink ball. Okay. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Good D oh, by Ian. Ian no, oh, that wasn't a foul on Ian. Number four dipped his shoulder into Ian. And he just hit him again. Rendazzo. He wants the ball in the paint, Kevin. Eddie House is about to come back into the game with one minute to go in the third quarter. Travel, thank you. Turnover, Lou. I was gonna say, if he didn't call that travel, I'm like. Eddie in. And he thought of getting Franco the gift card out. with the Long gone. Go oh, chance Nelly calling out zipper. Finds Makai at the top of the key. Everyone's look, zipping through. Makai, I mean, Eddie's way way downtown, no. A big board by Ian. Ian thinks about it, finds Eddie again. Eddie's waiting for a pick from Jared, gets it. Skip right over to Makai for way downtown. Bang! Makai for three. Cuts the lead to eight. Eight points, Kevin, for Makai. Big run since Texera's been out of the game. They dump it down. They triple team him. Oh, Ian with oh, the steal. Jump ball. Oh, jump ball. Possession down going Somerville's way. 9.4 seconds to go in the quarter. Let's get a good shot here, it's Somerville. My friend. Move it. Hesitation. Uh, oh, oh, my word. Wow. <laughs> Lou tries to say he's charged to hits the deck. I don't even think he made contact. Foul on Lou. That's it's not, two. It's not the bonus. So it's 3.9 seconds. And they say he wasn't shooting, just running him over. Yep. Makai is going to inbound the ball. He's got a good shot. Finds Ian. Going to put it up. Go at it. Go at it. That's good if it goes. Oh. And Kevin, it was at Chelsea that Jackson hit a three at the end of the third at the buzzer right in front of the bench. So, because it's Officials Appreciation Week, you can also nominate your official of the year. Criteria for the selection, anyone 
principals, ADs, coaches, parents, or athletes, which I know some of these refs tonight are not going to get the parents behind us. Anybody has the opportunity to submit a name of one official for every sport in their district. Is that right? In each of three sports seasons, spring officials can be nominated based on their performance from the previous year. I would nominate. The other criteria, contest officials' code of ethics. Number three, game management skills. Is the official a role model and mentor for the education athletics philosophy, which is a cornerstone of the MIA's interscholastic experience? Number four, did the official provide a positive experience for all players, coaches, and spectators? Number five is numbers of years of fishing should be not the primary consideration. So they don't want a longevity award here. The official's performance committed to the profession, development of skills for officiating, dedication to the value of educational athletics should be the basis for the recommendations. And finally, number six, must be an active official of an MIA sanctioned sport. So that means you can't nominate Brian Harris, who's uh, passed the exam so who, who, and he's never officiated. So who would you nominate? Well, the last couple of years. Uh, maybe Hal Gary, he's ref two some of the games this year. Okay. And uh, Harrington is ref two. Harrington's done a good job tonight. Oh, got to box out, guys. Oh, Makai almost gets the steal. Offensive Mackay. board, Marino. Get up! Makai hurt his knee, though. Oh, yeah, you're banging it right on the floor. Or cut face up. Oh, halfway down. Big board by Jackson. Relax, relax. Jackson oh, with three boards tonight. No points. Got to get him in the scoring mar margin. I would nominate David McLaren. All right. I haven't seen David in a long time. He used to ref like one or two several games a year. I think he's doing some college games now. I'm sure he is. He's being held. Makai from way downtown. Bang! Makai Curtis. 11 points from Makai. Cuts it to five, Kevin. Are they going to bring Tessera back in the game? Nope, he, has, he's not, he didn't come out of the locker room. I think Scary might have just kicked him out himself. Oh, nice pass. Oh, but he can't finish. Too low. Marino with another board, Kevin. Nine rebounds for Justin Marino. Fans behind us want to jump ball. I think Tom, I, I, Ian was a little bit rough on that. Thomas play. Desmond taking advantage of the Celtics Boston Garden seats, Kevin. Sammy from deep. Foul on Jackson Pyman knocks, knocks the Venom to the ground. Nothing called. I don't even know what happened there. After that timeout, Sandro came into the game, number 12, whose uniform is now ripped from that play. Look at the back of his uniform, it's ripped. Eddie over to Jackson. Jackson almost had Ian, doesn't have anything to find Makai to Eddie. Eddie on the wing. Finds Ian from way downtown. Oh! oh. Eddie's hit. Four cuts, another board, Kevin. Gotta stop the boards. boards. Get up. Moves is not shooting, Kevin. Who has one free throw? They're gonna leave it all in Sammy's hands. Oh, now that's a foul. <laughs> Going to line is number 12. It is Davido. Davido. Two-hand sets. These kids in their rotations on their shots. I, yeah, who's? You know, I don't get it. The shot goes goes left or right. Air <laughs> any, ball. any air balls there? Sideline out of bounds. I'm trying to get my daughter to uh, do some push-ups to get stronger. Get a stronger upper body strength. Military push-ups? Not yet. Jackson switches his pivot foot, didn't get called, thank God. There you go, that's how you play some basketball, baby. Running. Cuts it within three Salem, points now. Salem, Kevin. 
How many times have they run Salem against John Scary and they didn't stop that play? Sam gets fouled. Oh. That should be on Ian Bourne. That's two. That's only his second foul? Yeah. Not, not that many fouls have been called. But they're saying three. I, was, I thought he had like four by now. Well, he's got three. According to the scoreboard, if we had a PA announcer, we wouldn't have to worry about it. Sam looking for his first points. Again, how many times? This is two times now, Kevin, that the, the player has been in the wrong position. One time Medford, one time Somerville. I don't know. I mean, you don't expect that in a varsity game. Ian, you and Eddie are right now, right? Knocks them both down. You got time a timeout by Coach Scary. 5.27 to go in the game. Highlanders down by five points. So for all of you who want to nominate one of these officials, there is a pull-down menu form on the MIA's website. Is that right? You need to have the district or region of officials representing, the officials board's name, like Board 27 is what we sit in, their email, which how are you going to have that, their cell phone number, their home address, and you have to say who it's nominated by in your nomination email. Hmm. I'm going to go do that tonight. Yeah. It's right on the MIA website. Please use the form below and submit any information you have for your recommendation. Once we've received the submission, we will reach out to the official to gather more detail about the application process. Please contact Ethel Coeza at the MIA. Her email address is here, so all of you out there want to nominate any of these guys tonight, which I know the parents behind us won't. And remember, bring them a box of cookies or a box of donuts or either items presented to the crew by both home and the visiting team, which I know neither of them are probably going to do. Maybe they'll have some leftover pizza from Kerwin's sale for the girls' tennis team. These right. guys have won two in a row. They won six in a row earlier, Kevin. The Highlanders fell asleep after the timeout. They're just standing there. Eddie picks up his dribble, finds Jared on the baseline. Swings back. The little double pump can't finish. Ian with the board. Ripped Maybe a jump away. Ball. Jump. You saw it? How do you see that? How do you guys look right at that? All three of you look right at it. Desmond wants a team being told to calm down. Three Antonelli being told to calm look. down. He's looking right at it. That is unreal. Three of you tonight. And your, and your lead is in the building tonight, evaluating you. Unbelievable. There's your makeup call. There's your makeup call right there. <laughs> Two makeup calls by Flanagan tonight. Unreal. Foul should be on Orcutt. And uh, Scary says, I get it. Do they call a foul? Ian gets it, swings it to Eddie. Eddie drives in, kicks it out to Ian from way downtown. That's huge. Nothing. Makai tips it out of bounds. And you know the key, Kevin, when they have the three refs, one will just say, sorry, it wasn't my area. Right. You know, so that's how they get away with it. Yep. I would just go with two. I think that's Maverick that came here at halftime. Oh, oh Makai tips it. There's still plenty so of time. So my head was down. On that jump ball, what did he do? Did everybody's asking for a technical? No, the player on the ground. Yeah, what did he do? He I threw the ball at um, Ian. Oh, I, I didn't threw see it that. Right I, was, I, was I was writing down the five. What? Offensive board again by Boots Marino. Out. Two offensive boards. Oh, we got a foul on Eddie? Okay. It's in the bonus now. Make these count, baby. Ten. Foul. Ten. Marino. That's only his first, Kevin. Eddie going to the line, who has missed both free throws. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go, Eddie. 
only people that missed free throws tonight, Kevin Ian Bourne, Mo Mackay, and Eddie. Oh, foul, no foul is called. Misses one. No foul, one. no foul. Or cut with another board. You have to go back on the board. So it doesn't look like Texera's coming back at all in this game, Jeff. Oh, well, it's four minutes to go unless he comes out with a... Ooh, nice tip. Eddie's been playing great D on Lou. Oh, fall away. But of course no one boxes out. You got lucky on that play. Move it! Move it! Foul. Oh. No foul. Oh, it's all right. We said it. 3.30. Makai with the ball, gets a pick from Jared. Jared rolls to the basket. Took too much time, Jeff. Scary is complaining about the call. It was, it was a perfect, it was executed perfectly. Jared just froze. He didn't realize it was that open. And Flanagan telling, Flanagan telling Scary to get back. He's saying, we're getting killed down here. Somebody's phone's ringing, answer it. Somerville's benefited this year, Kevin, from star players spending a lot of time out of the game. First time Teixeira got hurt yep. at Medford. Oh, he misses them both. Oh, Ian finds Jackson. Jackson from way downtown. Oh, halfway down. Marino with another board. Try Marino. Stay up on him. Stay up on him. 12 Bad. rebounds for Marino. First time out taken by Scary. Since it's referee uh, appreciation week, I'm just gonna read some rules. Head coach's rule. The head coach shall remain seated on the team bench, except if he's the in the coach coaching may box. stand within the coaching box to request a timeout or signal his or her players to request a timeout. The head coach may stand to leave the coaching box to confer with personnel at the scorer's table. The head coach may stand within the coaching box to replace or remove a disqualified player direct or directed to leave the game. The head coach may stand in any of those times to replace or remove a disqualified substitute player within 20 seconds. The head coach shall not permit a team member to, to participate after being removed from the game for disqualification. So technically, the head coach is not supposed to stand. Scary and Antonelli have not sat down once. Yeah, but have you ever seen any coach? Some do. Some follow the rules. Yeah, no. no? Paul never... Garrity used to. Paul Garrity is certified ref in his own right. I've never seen a ref sit down an entire game. Vegas. All right, here we go. Five point lead for Medford. Three minutes to go in the game. Good double team. Travel. Dragged Travel on Orca. He can't believe it. He's looking down right at his foot. Just no. tosses the ball over to Harrington. That was, that was a good call. I didn't say it wasn't. I'm just saying he doesn't think it was. The cheerleaders are here tonight. Coach Alley in full effect. Jackson. Finds Makai, Makai over to Eddie. Oh, you got Jackson. Yeah, Jackson right there. Makai from way downtown. No. Orcutt, another board. Got to get a stop here. It's huge. A little hesitation. Eddie recovers. Who just keeps control, Kevin. Foul, wow, that's a makeup but, call but, for Harrington. But, for uh, was with uh, scary complaining the last time down. But there's no need to, to, to well, get up that but much. Still, it was still. He was starting the offense so far back. He, Foul he, is on Eddie. That's two. You could easily just played off of him a little. I would say so. You can throw in the backcourt. That's legal. Oh, a skip pass. Doesn't have anything. Oh, nice pass. Wow. Slips that was through easy. Kevin Arendazzo's first points of the game. 
Only four points in the quarter, Kevin, for Medford. Oh, Eddie goes to the hole. He can't finish. Shattered sure. the rebound. There's a foul. He's going to the line of shoot, Foul too. will be on Randazzo. It's got to be. And a tribute to the late Billy Packer, who died this week, Kevin, passed away. He would always say during the Final Four, and for those of you watching your first game of the year, that is legal. Jared knocks down the first. How many missed free throws do we have in this game, Jeff? Not many. Some are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See? And if you didn't miss those free throws, two of them from Jared. Up. Only five points here, Kevin. No need to foul. Good D. Blue with the crossover. Ten! Oh. He just made it. Scary oh. call a timeout by just making it. Wow. So, so now, was he over before he called a timeout? Well, what happened was the clock so now, like, was at 25 when Scary called a timeout right at the 25 mark. They gave him 24. So, so technically they should probably put I would put uh, the, they a should second put a, back, a second back on the to, clock, yeah. even uh, even on the game clock, technically. Technically, yes. Or you call, or you call a um, a ten second violation. But they're not going to do that. So this week, Kevin, we lost Billy Packer, and today we lost Lanny Poffo, who's also known as the genius, who's also known as Leaping Lanny, the poet laureate. The World Wrestling Federation. A moment of silence for both of them. All right, so they're not, they're not going to reset the shot clock. So Antonelli has two timeouts left, and Scary has three. Scary not bringing Teixeira back, so we can probably write down that he ends up with 12 for the game. Coach Antelli brings out the same five, Kevin. Franco not playing a lot today, neither is Kyle. Into the backcourt. They're gonna to try to take as much time off the clock. They're up by five. You gotta think Memphis is gonna use this entire shot clock. 10 seconds on the shot clock. All right, now let's get a stop here. Good defense by it. Good board. Go. Run the play now. You got plenty of time. Coach Hanson is looking for him to be set with hesitation. Ian from way downtown. Eventually, no. one's going to go in, Kevin. Set your feet. Get up. Get up. 13 rebounds for Marino. You don't got to foul, though. No time to deal with the foul. Don't yet. foul. Don't foul. Don't foul. It's okay. Not if you have that, Kevin. Marino finds number 11, Polcaro, who came off the bench. Move the ball, guys. That's a careless foul by Medford right now. Very, very careless. Right, why, why would That's he foul? number Polcaro. That's two on him. The Goodridges are leaving the building. Well, if they want to, they're going to miss a good comeback. Oh, yes. Coming into the game is Kyle for Jackson. Kyle Ray will be guarding the inbounder. Coach Antonelli is calling for a full court press. Kyle is on the ball. Nice. Eddie brings it within five now. You got to get up. Foul, foul, foul. Foul on Eddie. There you go. That's three. So for those of you out there, you control your temper no matter what the referee is trying to bait you into. <laughs> you would still be into this game. Still have to control your temper, Kevin. And Teixeira said something to him. He teed him up, and he hasn't played since early in the third. But he, he, the referee point blank said, if 
you say something like that again, yeah. you're going to get a T. And Texera turned around and said something again. Yeah, I know. So. I don't know, I wouldn't really call it baiting them. I'm like. Well, he's yelling at it right in his face. You can hear it right from here. Shoot it. Oh, there Look at that, Eddie. Kevin. Oh. Eddie's, and, and, and Eddie's, Eddie's, like, uh, call never. call a foul or no. out of bounds? And Orcutt cannot run the baseline. Deep. Jackson Pyman gets fouled. Shoot it. Shoot it. Call timeout. Uh. Four point uh. eight to go. Well, it's academic now. We'll just run out of gasoline. And that is the final. It's in here. How the varsity do? See you later. Sorry. Baby lost by one point. Varsity lost by thirty. Jeez. Girls basketball team are they're not doing too well. Just like the boys basketball team. So final score, Somerville 36, Medford 43. Um, I mean the, the Highlanders had had their chances. They, they were making a comeback. Uh, Medford was just too strong, but the Highlanders had a lot of careless passes, a lot of unforced um, errors and turnovers um, in the first half and um, in the third. Highlanders try, try to make their comeback when Texera was out. Um, he didn't get he didn't get tossed out by the referees, but I know Coach Scary just said he had enough of listening him talk. So whatever. Um, today is the second, so we will be here next Tuesday, February seventh, when the Highlanders host uh, Everett on Tuesday, February February seventh at seven o'clock. And we've got uh, stats from Jeff. All right, first Somerville. Eight rebounds for Ian Bourne, but we're going to go first with Jackson Pyman with two. Four points for Eddie. Eight for Jared with eight and seven boards. Then balance scoring with Ian Bourne, 11. Mackay, 11. So what hurt you was Franco hurting his ankle, getting zero points. Jackson, only two. So that was your hurtful scoring that you didn't get. 10 and se 10 for 17 was your free throws for Medford Mustangs. One point for Lou, but he controlled the entire offense, Kevin. Very rarely turning the ball over. Pocaro of four. Two for Randazzo. 10 for Orcutt. 14 boards. 10 and 14. To share it and not play in the last two and a half, uh, quarter and a half. Ended up with 12. And three rebounds and lean the way. Justin Marino with all those putbacks, Kevin. 14 points and 13 boards. They were eight for 14 from line. Medford now is nine and six. Somerville falls to five and nine. Yeah. I mean, they lost that game based on uh, rebounding. They, they, just, oh, yeah. they got out rebounded by, by Medford. Well, two players had 13 and 14. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, another loss for the Highlanders. Um, and then we will be back here Tuesday, February 7th versus Everett at 7 o'clock. And if you see a ref on the street, give him a hug. hug. For Jeff Argenziano, I am Kevin Scott. Have a good night.